it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and I'm here with Nathan from Daily Motor as well. And this is one of our newest fleet additions. It's a little Tau Tau 50, a moped. Yes, indeed. It's been a lot of fun so far. Nathan and I just decided, you know what? It would be cool to have a moped around. And Alyssa over at Daily Motor is looking to get into the bike scene so she can ride around with me on the big boys over here. So we picked this up over the summer. And when we got it, what did it only have 35 miles on it? Yeah. I think it was like 35 or so, like 38. And this is a 2018 model year. It was manufactured in uh, April of 2018. The Tao Tao is a Chinese brand, and this is just one of their basic 50cc mopeds. Technically 49cc, yeah. but it allows it to come in under the uh, Michigan moped laws. And it means that we don't have to have a real plate on there. So you've just got this moped plate. They're good for three years. I think they only cost $15, which is awesome. Yeah. And not only that, but you don't need a motorcycle endorsement to ride it. So we've been having fun with it so far. As we said, we started with 35 miles and we just broke 200, 205 now. And I've been riding it around some, Alyssa's been riding it around, Nathan's been riding it around. And I've had mopeds before, but this is your first experience. So how, you know, what, what has it been like for you so far riding it around? Um, very, surpri very surprising about just how, A, how fun it is, B, how efficient it is, and C, it's, it's use and I, I didn't realize something could be so usable like you just take it into town and back and this one maxes out at about 35 miles per hour i well, think your top speed is different day to day so <laughs> the highest i've ever gotten it is 48 but that was with like 40 mile an hour winds behind my back going downhill right um, well not only that but the speedometer reads quite high so it goes up to 50 and i've seen it up in the 40s but typically when i'm riding alongside nathan on a flat stretch I think I'm clocking them about 33, 34. And once it gets above about 25 or 30, it, it uh, it's pretty off. Yeah, you mentioned the practicality. Mopeds are super neat. You've got this big under seat storage, which is locked. You pop that open. You can fit a full, full faced helmet in there. They got kind of this little cutout for that, as well as, you know, a gallon of milk and some groceries. Then on top of that, you've got this little cargo compartment up front. So you could fit, you could put phone, wallet, maybe like a, like a pair of shorts or something in there. And then using the tiny key back here, you've got even more storage that it comes with. Pretty nifty. Alyssa and I have used this for going and grabbing food before. We've, we've actually both doubled up on it and it, it handles us and goes along. Oh, is there a little uh, liner in there? That's nice. Yeah. Huh. So if you live around a city, you can get to a lot of places with just pure city driving. It's definitely something worth looking into, a moped in general. Now, specifically for this Tau Tau model, it hasn't been quite as reliable as the Yamaha Vino that I had. It's, uh, it's a little finicky, especially with cold starts. It could, it could stand a little carburetor, either cleaning or readjustment. I did go in and do a little bit of adjustment on the valves. I don't think it necessarily helped. I might've even made it a little bit worse. So I need to go in there and tighten up the valve. Uh, or at least one of them. I think it's ticking a little bit now. But if you can get it started up, I mean, certain days like today, it just started right up. Yeah. It's about 53 degrees, relatively low humidity. It, it, it started right up. It does have electric start as well as a kick starter. Right there. And yeah, it's fun to ride. Nate, Nathan, you want to sit on there? We'll just kind of show how you fit. You're about five foot nine, five foot ten range. You fit pretty nicely. It's it's fairly comfortable too, isn't it? Yeah, it's very comfortable. It's got some suspension, as you can see, and we've actually been running it around off-road a bit, as you can see from the dirt. So I'm going to take it for a quick ride, talk a little bit about it from the POV view, and then we'll go through the, uh, the daily motor off-road course, if you will, the mild off-road course. And I'll ride the good old V-Strom, and we'll get some footage of Nathan riding around. Now, in the, in the nearly 200 miles we've put on it, we've only put in two tanks of gas. But I should do an oil change here soon. I want to swap it out, uh, get some clean oil in there, a little bit of break-in oil. The full tank of gas, and I put premium in this to clean out the engine and stuff, that costs $1.65. I know, that's awesome. I mean, m mopeds and, and motorcycles in general, I mean, even this big bike, I've got big windshield, bunch of baggage and stuff, I still get about 50 miles to the gallon on that. So this gets about 80 to 100 miles to the gallon, depending on how you're riding it. It's just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, let's get behind the handlebars. Okay. So as I said earlier, you do have electric start. Put the key on, give it a little break. And up it goes. You do have a side stand and a center stand, so that's kind of nice. CVT transmission, kind of hear it whir up. It's just, if you've never ridden a moped, they're just so fun to tool around with. You can build up confidence so easily. As you can see, going over a dirt section, no problem. This thing's pretty lightweight. Let's open up the taps here. I'm at full throttle. It says I'm doing about 25, but probably a little under that. I would like to see if maybe I can get this to rev up a little bit higher. But right, we're picking up speed. Some pretty decent bumps in this road, actually. This certainly isn't the most quality feeling uh, moped or motorcycle I've ever been. In fact, it's quite cheap feeling. Just the handles, the brakes, everything feels cheap. You can tell it's made to a price point. The Yamaha Vino I had was definitely, it, it not only did everything feel better, but it also just ran better, ran stronger, even with much more, many more miles on it. But we only paid $500 for this, and you can, you can pick them up on Amazon for about $700. And you can take them off-road. This thing is probably not going to last too long with us treating it like this. So like I said, I would like to see what will happen if we get the carburetor a little tuned up. Just kind of get it breathing a little bit better, fuel delivery. The only downsides are it, it is pretty easy to lean it over on this side and hit the, uh, the kickstand. So pretty much any strong leaning that way. But this, this way, to the right, you can lean it really far, but any left turns scrapes that kickstand pretty easy and I've looked in there to see if there's a way to kind of bend it back up or anything but there really isn't it's a pretty pretty sturdy metal piece there you do have to be careful getting on the brakes in the dirt definitely no anti-lock brakes on something like this so if you lock them up especially the front you could get into a little bit of trouble Whoo! <laughs> like right there it almost skidded out on me a little bit of dirt it does stop confidently enough. And you can just turn it off right there. It does have a security locking feature. You can turn the handlebars, put the kickstand down, push the key in all the way and pull it out like that. And then it won't straighten the handlebars. So even if somebody wanted to try to steal it, it would, it would never, uh, never go straight. So it's kind of locked in that way. So that's kind of nice. Push that back in there, straighten it out. As I said before, there's also a center stand. So you can either have it on a side stand like this or kind of push down and lift up. And then it's up on its center with the front wheel off the ground. And as I was saying, there is, uh, I mean, things just don't fit together as confidently as they would in a nice Japanese machine or something like that. Uh, there's the cheapness to just about everything, but as I was saying earlier, you can pick these up online, have them shipped to your door for about $800. We paid five for this, and it was practically new. So you have to keep in mind what your price point is. And uh, I mean, we didn't exactly expect it to be here with us forever. We're just going to have fun with it and pick something up at a price point. So it's worked out. All right, should we hop on and go through the, the trail? Sounds good. Okay.